make sure you guys do this before Payday 3's release. With Payday 3 around the corner, it brings new life into the Payday franchise, new AI behavior, and new ways to spend the hard-earned cash you got during heists, but especially spending it on cosmetics if you're into that such as I am. However, if you're getting Payday 3, then there are some cosmetics that you can actually acquire without having gotten the game yet. Here's how to do it. If you have Payday 2, then that's the premise of what you need. I'll put a picture up on the screen and show you the rewards you get from simply owning Payday 2. However, as you can see, there are more to just getting the rewards to 3 from owning the second game. To start, just from simply owning 2, you can get the OG American Dream Mask. And to know all these rewards can be achievement related, so whatever you need to do in 2, they'll pertain to 3. Next, you have to have the Infamy Rewards, so reach the first rank of Infamy, um, and you'll get the Old Faithful Reward preset, which will appear to be just an M4. Not sure what they call it in-game, but you get the point. Um, after that is the Echelon Suit, Echelon Suit, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'll put it on the screen, same thing, um, so you'll get a look of what it will look like in-game. Um, it looks pretty good, it's nothing crazy, but nice to have overall if you're a cosmetic achiever. Uh, after that, it's just simply completing all the contracts on certain difficulties, so this is definitely um, it's going to take some time for some people to do if you haven't done it already. But if you already own the game for many years, such as I have, um, you know, since the game came out 10 years ago, or if you're a diehard Payday fan, uh, chances are you may already have these completed. If not, then you might have some of them. They are just weapon charms, so it's nothing personally, I think, to rave about. But still, it's a nice touch to show how much you got in Payday 2, uh, just to show off in 3. And lastly, the end. This is a bit of a chore to do, but I'll describe it here if you guys don't know how to do this. I don't believe I did this, but like I said, it was many years ago. So I'll read it off to you uh, for a summary um, and how to get this. So a series of heists need to be completed on any difficulty before attempting to reach the secret ending, in, uh, which payday includes the Golden Grin Casino, Brooklyn Bank on Overkill difficulty, Breaking Feds, Henry's Rock, Shacklethorn Auction, and the White House. You do a bunch of stuff to get the vault, but in the end, instead of going inside the back door, Move back towards the main door, shoot the dentist in the head, grab the mine gold, and place it in the designated spot in the chamber. And boom. The secret ending is unlocked and that will lead you to getting the gloves you need for Payday 3's rewards. It's a bit of a chore, but that's pretty much how you're going to do it. Um, now before I conclude all this, just to wrap it up and keep it short, make sure you guys have a Nebula account. Uh, sign up, register for that, which is going to help you link your Payday 2 to uh, 3 and grant all the rewards. Um, this is very important as it's just Payday's way of linking the stuff whether you have gotten the game on Steam or on Epic. So to claim the rewards, uh, this is how you're going to want to do it. Uh, but it won't be some time to actually claim them in-game until Payday 3's release or a little bit um, after as it's stated on their website. But uh, just to keep it all kind of condensed, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. So that's going to wrap it up and uh, just to get prepared for the cool stuff coming out in 3. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all later.